Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Failing My Way in Public to Success, the Mark Sclair podcast. Thanks for joining us today. I'm waving at you if you follow me on YouTube, much appreciated. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all of the social medias, there's too many to name, but at the end I'll give all the details of the social medias to follow. I put out content on a daily basis where I help and inspire others through either my failures that I've learned from or sales tips over my 15 year sales experience. Not just sales, but also leadership as well. On a daily basis, I put out this content to add value to the community. And if it does help you, please let me know, comment in the box below, send me a private message. I'd love to hear. Or if you've got any questions, anything you want cleared up, I'll be happy to help with that as well. As I said, on a daily basis, I'm putting out this content. Instagram especially, LinkedIn, YouTube, all of them, all of them you'll see. Now, today's show, I do this on a weekly basis, this podcast, I had a, a message come through, it was a notification on my phone, and it really kind of jolted a few things that's kind of happened over the last six, seven, eight months, even it kind of, I want to speak about the last three years really, because this message was from LinkedIn. And on LinkedIn, I set up notifications a while ago, and it was to alert me with any jobs that come in. So this LinkedIn notification was like, Mark, 30 plus uh, job at jobs match your criteria. Would you like to uh, see what they are? Now, I'm self-employed, I'm a business owner, so getting a notification like that is something I don't really want to see, especially if it's after a hard day's work. And I think, the reason why I'm talking about this is that we get so many things thrown at us on a daily basis that's trying to knock us off course. It could be your friend saying your videos are no good. It could be, I'm not being um, I'm not being to the point there, but I'm saying this is the type of things you get. Your friend saying your videos are no good, content's no good, information's no good. Why are you self-employed? You're not much of a, you, you, you don't seem like a person should be self-employed. You should be working for a company. All of these things are thrown at us constantly every single day and we have to put our shield up and block it and carry on, block it, carry on, block it, carry on. And this message that I got through is another one of them. It's very easy for me to kind of step away from all of this and go and work at a company. But the reason why I talk about this as well is I hope that people have been, have been woken up by the fact that working at a company is not a full security. I know that people say, get a job, get a pension, you're covered, all of this stuff, but you've seen a lot of people be laid off, you've seen a lot of people not get any packages, nothing at all, so where's the security? The only person you can really rely on is yourself, and if you've got the ability to do something, then you should do it. But saying that, as Gary V says, There's nothing wrong with being a number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, as long as you're happy. So I'm not pushing on being an entrepreneur because it's not for everyone. And it's definitely something that I question occasionally. But there's, as I said, there's nothing wrong with being number seven, number eight, number nine, as long as that's not the only thing that you rely on. You have to have a backup. If that all goes kaput, what what happens then? You know, what happens with the family, what happens with all your bills, you need, You need something going on that's more than just that job. The thing is with me, this is one company I have, but I have multiple clients. And, well, that's the aim, multiple clients. And if something falls out of bed, then I've got a backup. The aim is to have a different client like every day of the week. And if someone cancels, then you've got the other days, haven't you? But if I'm at one company and I get laid off from that company, then that's it. What have I got? I've got nothing. So I wanted to make that clear really. There's nothing wrong with working at a company, but please make sure you've got some sort of backup and you're not relying fully on them. So this SMS, this message notification I had through, it gave me, it it kind of brought this story back to me really. And I want to talk about uh, when I left the company, the company I was working at like over three years ago now. And it was a great, it was a great job. I was there for six years, loved the company, still talk about it almost every single day, place I'm very, very proud of to be. But the product which I was leading the team for was not getting the investment that it needed. And I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Now, did I go looking for another job before saying I was leaving? No, I didn't think that was the right thing to do. I still don't. 
but I also didn't think it would be such a headache getting another job, to be fair, or I should have been more patient at least anyway. So I sat with my old boss, told him what was going on, and um, sorry to see me leave, but I made my mind up and that's what it, that's, is what it is. So this, this sales training company really came about properly because I was impatient about waiting for a job offer from another company. Now, even after that, if you know my story as well, just before this, my brother passed away and there was a lot of pressure on me and a lot of things I took on. It wasn't until I stepped away from it or realized I'd actually taken a lot on. So I started up this company, which I only started up because uh, the work because it didn't work out with the job offers or was, or was impatient. And then I decided to start my own company. And then that's a lot of pressure itself. So I'm doing this job and I'm enjoying it and all of a sudden all this pressure comes bearing on me and I decide to take some time off. Now I could say to you, oh, I did some consultancy work. No, I took a year off, I played golf, I got down to a four handicap, very proud of that, wouldn't change that for the world. I needed that time off. Then I got back into work after that. I went to go and work at my friend's company, but it wasn't. It was. It was still being. It was working at a company, but it was a new product. It was something to drive forward. But again, like the company, they didn't do anything wrong, apart from kind of over promising. But I, I know my friend very, very well, and that was known to be expected. But again, it wasn't something I was happy to offer to people. So I stepped away from there. Then. I was like, right, I'm gonna work at another company. So I was meant to go and work at this other company, something got messed up there, didn't happen. Another company meant to go and got messed up there, didn't happen. Another company messed up there, didn't happen. Now these things at the time was like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Like what have I got to do to actually land the break here? But I honestly feel that all of that was doing was leading me to what I'm doing now. And it forced my hand and I'm so pleased it did. And I know this has happened with a lot of people now. They've been laid off from work. They think that it's the end of the world for them, but all of a sudden they're forced to do something they thought they couldn't do. And now they're so happy they're doing it and they regret all those years of actually working at that other company. So I'm so happy all of this happened. I mean, if you can see this here, this is a book, uh, one of my notebooks that I had made up. Sclair Development. The company name now is Mark Sclair Sales Training and Motivation. But when I started three years ago, it was Sclair Development. And if Michael, my, old, my well, one of my best friends is watching this, he, he used to rip me because he'd be like, don't worry about the business cards, don't worry about the websites, don't worry about the pens, don't worry about the books, just get on with it, just get on with it. And you know, I look at this and I, I just, I laugh so much at it now because it's nothing to do with any of that. Nothing at all, you need to go and meet people, you need to go and see people. Does this thing really work? Are you building something just for yourself or is it actually something that's needed by people? And the only way you work that out is by going to meet people and understanding what their challenges are and how you can help them. Not just, oh, this is a good idea, I think I might do this. So yeah, this message that I received, it really brought up all of this. And kind of to round this all off really is that so many things are gonna be thrown your way, so many challenges, but if you're on this journey, and you don't know what that, well, don't know what that journey is until you start doing it. Best way to get started is to get started. And I've come across so many things along this, along this way that's made me realize, you know, I do these videos, what works, what doesn't work, what changes should I make? I've had a lot of people unfollow me, unfortunately. You know, uh, it is what it is, but I know that I'm putting out content that is of value to people. And I wanna say one thing as well, I'm so grateful for the people that send me a message out the blue that kind of says, this content's great, I really enjoy it, it's helping me so much. I'm so grateful for that. But also I like getting the messages that are giving me like their opinions as well. Because that, once I get enough of those that are saying the same thing, then I start to kind of be like, all right, am I doing the right thing? But these one or two messages from somebody that's completely out the blue that, it's just their opinion. I don't take on board at all. Get on with it. Um, I'm documenting here. I'm creating as well. I'm on this journey. These messages that come in, I, I put my guard up, I block away and I continue on because in the same week I get that message, but in the same week I get a phone call from an agency that are looking to book me to be a public speaker at one of their events. So. You know, because I didn't go off track, because I kept on my journey, 
I was able to get that message because I created that energy, I attracted it to me. And these are all tests along the way. I don't know who's testing me, but keep on doing it. Um, I can't say I'm enjoying it all the time. I prefer a bit of a smoother run, but I'm happy they're happening because it makes me appreciate what I'm doing so much more. I'm on this journey and I'm finding my feet. And if I can give you any advice, please continue on with what you're doing and don't just block away what a lot of people are saying because they want to do it. They don't mean to do it. It's kind of this, this uh, thing that this problem they've got within themselves and they put it onto other people. But continue on your journey. But if you're trying to sell something, make sure it's of value to people first. Yeah, don't be like on this, on this journey like, oh, I want to sell this because I like it. Unfortunately, you won't get anywhere with it. So even with my sales training now, there's so much I want to offer, but I need to really direct it. Maybe once this thing gets bigger, then I can be more like, this is me. But right now, I need to kind of be like, okay, am I open to doing this? Does it match my values? If it matches my values, I'm open to doing it. So if you want to speak to me about sales training, let's have a chat. You've got all my details. They're in the box below. Let's have a word. I can help your business. I can help you as an individual with my experience, my challenges I've faced and I've overcome. And also, I'm a good listener. I'm happy to sit there and take on the things that you want to talk about. And I'll just be like, okay, no problem. Because we need to vent. And a lot of people think that they want to talk because they want your opinion. They don't. They want to talk and they just want to vent and that's it. So the next person that kind of vents to you, let them. Don't worry about your opinion, they won't listen to it anyway. So please, just nod and be like, I, I understand, I understand. That's all they want to do. Once you start giving your opinion, they start getting defensive and, and you get nowhere with it. Let them vent. So don't let the things that come into your life that are negative stop you from doing what you're doing and recognize their tasks or challenges that are put to you and you need to overcome them because this journey is tough, especially with what's going on at the moment. There's things we need to do, but as long as it matches your values, you're on the right journey. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Comment in the box below any questions you have, but that's it for today. Thanks a lot and I'll see you every single day because I'm putting out content every single day. So thanks a lot guys, cheers.